Dr. Pan is an international leader in clean coal technology. His can-do attitude and passion for solving problems continues to pay enormous dividends to Western Kentucky University. Three. Lab number four opened this week at the Institute for Combustion Science and Environmental Technology, also known as ISET. I set up a goal. I would like to set up a different laboratory every five to ten years. And that's exactly what Dr. Wei Ping Pan has done since arriving on campus as an assistant chemistry professor in 1986. I accomplished my goal. You know, the university gave me last platform, spatial and applied research. I like that. It's the kind of research that benefits us all by improving the environment. We want to have a clean air. So that's the, my goal. So all the laboratory is related to how to make the much cleaner air we can. The thermal analysis lab has even been replicated at a top Chinese university thanks to Dr. Pan's expertise and efforts to secure funding. I've seen few uh, scholars that are able to close deals uh, and generate the resources, grants and contracts uh, in support of our clean coal technology lab the way Wei Ping is able to do. Three years ago, President Ransdell asked Dr. Pan to take on an additional role as head of the Confucius Institute. It's having a great impact, but a lot of that impact is due to Wei Ping's influence and, and skills uh, in working with the Chinese Education Ministry. A retirement dinner earlier this week was a chance to reminisce and celebrate his career. I appreciate the university and special, special chemistry department and Argonne College who rescued me from the bitter cold of Montana and the Northern Michigan 27 years ago. Dr. Pan is originally from Taiwan but came to the U.S. in 1980. He's been named one of China's top 1,000 experts in science and technology. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.